today I'm reviewing the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, join my Patreon community, or click on the link below. Okay, this is one I've been meaning to review for a long time. Actually, ever since I reviewed their serum version, which I love. Um... Anyway, I talked a little bit about pro and prebiotics in skincare, and this has a lot of ferments in there. So I think that's kind of what also inspired me a little bit. So, okay, Neogen calls this a deeply hydrating and brightening essence that contains more than 93% naturally fermented ingredients, including Bifida ferment lysate and 28% Saccharomyces ferment filtrate to deliver instant moisture and skin plumping benefits. This fragrance-free fermented treatment is also formulated with 17% birch juice to add hydration and 9% rice extracts to illuminate skin from within. Full of natural brighteners, antioxidants, and cell communicating ingredients, this essence is the key to glowing supple honey skin. Honey skin, there we go. We've got, what do we have? Glass skin, honey skin, chalk chalk skin. I'll take honey skin. Because honey's yummy, so. Okay. So my first criteria is packaging and we've got a clear bottle, which doesn't always excite me. I just recommend keeping it in your cabinet when you're not using it so the sunlight doesn't zap the good stuff, but no issues with that. Uh, in terms of denatured or drying types of alcohol, this does not contain any of those. So that is a great thing. It's so nice to have so many nice uh, essence and toners that don't contain tons of alcohol available. So I remember the old Clinique ones when they when I was little, everyone used the old Clinique ones, which are just zapped full of alcohol. So uh, then when we come to fragrance, this is also fragrance free. So very nice, has no noticeable scent at all. And it is manufactured in Korea. So no issues with that. Let me do a quick pH test for you guys that like the pH. I go through so many pH strips, but so this one's got uh, a nice water texture to it. Very watery. So uh, they recommend using this after cleansing and toning. So uh, if you use a toner, the cotton pad smooth over your skin, and then afterwards pat this onto skin. So pat it onto skin. Uh, let it soak in for a moment or two, and then continue into your routine with your serums. pH of this one looks to be about 5, which is right where I would predict it would be for an essence like this. Uh, they also recommend using it morning and evening, and they also recommend using their, obviously, their Microessence Serum right afterwards, because why wouldn't they recommend use another one of their products? Neogen has so many products, and most of them aren't fragrance-free, so it's nice to have some that are. Um, so pat it into skin, then move on. So no issues with ease of use. It absorbs pretty quickly. It sets to a non-sticky finish, so no issues at all with that. Antioxidants and beneficial ingredients of this one, they actually does share a lot in common with its uh, sister product. We've got the Bifida Ferment Lysate, which is a type of yeast obtained by the fermentation of Bifida. That is a probiotic ingredient. Uh, probiotics are great for your microbiome. They're also great for hydrating your skin. They're also nice for soothing your skin as well. We've also got Saccharomyces ferment filtrate, which is a good humectant from fermenting and fil filtering yeast. It's also a source of amino acids, uh, vitamins, and beta-glucan. So very good for your skin. Then we've got that birch juice, Betula alba juice, which is an astringent, so it can help with pores a bit, but it's also a good antioxidant, and it's also a source of amino acids. Then we've got rice ferment filtrate, skin conditioning ingredient. We've got methyl gluceth 20, which is a good humectant and hydrating ingredient derived from corn sugar. We've got betaine, another good humectant. Let's see, uh, humectant, sugar beet derived amino acid. Then we've got green tea extract, great anti-inflammatory, uh, antioxidant and antimicrobial. Then we've got lactobacillus, which is a good skin conditioning and biotic ingredient. And if you didn't see yesterday's video on all the biotics, be sure to check it out. I can link to it. Uh, then we've got uh, allantin, a good skin soothing ingredient. Uh, then we've got several skin conditioning amino acids. We've got arginine, glycine, serine, uh, alanine, proline, and valine. They all rhyme. 
Is that on purpose or what? I don't know. So if it rhymes with lean, there you go. Uh, then we've got sodium hyaluronic, which is in everything, a humectant ingredient, which I'm not in love with. But uh, Then we've got niacinamide, which is great for brightening the skin, uh, barrier repair, anti-acne. And then uh, glutamic acid, which is a good humectant and skin conditioning ingredient. So this one really does everything they say when they say it's full of antioxidants, skin brighteners, cell communicating ingredients. They do. It's full of it. And really nothing bad. So very nice to see. They did a very good job with their ingredient list. Um, okay. In terms of animal testing, and this is cruelty free, so no issues with that. Let me yell that because my coffee's in the shed. There, I moved the coffee. Okay. Performance. So it leaves your skin feeling nicely hydrated. And certainly if you use this and then follow up with a good serum, that will help as well. It over time, you'll notice your skin looks a little bit brighter. Your skin barrier seems to be a little bit stronger after using this. I noticed that. Uh, less issues with acne as well. And the nice thing is it only contains a couple of acneogenic ingredients, uh, butylene glycol and then hydroxopropyl methyl cellulose. I said that all properly. I never say anything right, so... So if you have very acne prone skin, something to keep in mind, just those two, which isn't a lot. I'm trying to remember if there were any, reviewed any essences which were totally free from any acneogenic ingredients, but I'll have to look, I can't remember. But um, anyway, okay, so price. So this is the full size, which is 5.07 ounces, 150 milliliters, and it retails for about $38, however, do shopping around because you can get it more affordable. Sometimes certain websites will have it for half off. So it's certainly worth doing a little bit of shopping. Although even if you pay $38 for it, I think it's a pretty good deal because one bottle will last you months because you only have to use a little bit. A little bit goes a long way and it's a pretty big bottle. So not very expensive, especially compared to some of the other products out there. Uh, then we get to the It Factor, and I really do love this one. A great product, great ingredients, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, cruelty-free, great for acne-prone skin, great for dry skin. If you're someone that has a damaged microbiome, I highly recommend checking this one out and possibly adding it to your routine because it might work miracles. A lot of these fermented products really can do some great things. And if you don't use an essence in your current routine, adding an essence can really also help boost hydration, especially if you have drier skin. So with a 10 being a perfect score, this one got a 10. So I'm working on my 10s video. I will be doing that one very soon. So this one will make that cut. Not a lot of, I've done so many reviews over the years. It's amazing how short that list is, but it's a good list, so. Okay, anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to try this or if you have a favorite uh, essence, what is it and what do you love about it? So leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys.